how to set up a full bleed label in custom quick label software. This video will demonstrate how to correctly format a label to print as full bleed in custom quick label software. We will take you through the steps to create a full bleed label with all of the correct sizing and formatting information. When we are done, you will have printed a perfect full bleed label. Let's begin in the Create workspace by clicking the butterfly icon on your left side toolbar to add a graphic. Next, choose Edit Data Source on your Graphic Properties box and locate your desired image. Justify your image to be sure that it is squared off on the label. In a full bleed label printing, we want the printing to go all the way around to the edge of the label, bleeding off the sides of the label. You're looking at an example of a 4 by 5 inch label with the entire graphic being 4.1 inches by 5.1 inches. To print full bleed, the size of your artwork should be 0.1 inches larger than the physical label, so that the image appears larger than the label in the CQL workspace. We want this overhang off of the label in order to avoid any white, unprinted lines along the edges of the label paper. If you're ready to see a printed sample of your label, click on the print icon. When first test printing your full bleed label, your vertical and horizontal offsets should be set to zero because we're not yet sure if it will be necessary to adjust them. Your overbleed settings should be set to zero as well for now. We will set the print quality best to start and we will also set the speed to auto. When you have made all of your settings, you can edit your global quantity to enter the number of labels you would like to print. Next, click Print and your label file will be sent to the printer. Once the labels are printed, you will be able to see if your settings were accurate to create a full bleed label. As you can see from this example, the label printed cleanly all the way around, but there is a slight white unprinted line at the top of the label. So we will need to make some adjustments to the overbleed on our print screen. From the direction that this label comes out of the Chiaro, we will need to adjust the right horizontal overbleed. Under the horizontal right setting, add in six units. From the label, we noticed that the top edge was also lacking some print, so we will need to add one unit to the vertical top bottom setting. Now we will print a new sample label and evaluate the changes. As you can see, we have successfully printed a full bleed label. The color occupies each edge of the label with no white unprinted area. Congratulations! You've just learned how to print a full bleed label with a Chiaro Inkjet label printer.